Well, welcome back to the show. We are joined by Charleston Gardner Johnson, CJ GJ, CD Deuce, man of many names and many talents on this Saints defense, safety. And CJ, the first thing we got to ask you is, we know how invested you are in your seven on 17. Mm -hmm. Where did that genesis, where did that begin? I say right around the city of New Orleans, seeing the kids that, that that's, not, that's not impacted by the high school circuit. So I want to make an impact on the high school circuit to let kids know that it's, it's multiple ways and just, you know, being in the city of New Orleans and just doing the same thing, same routine. So developing them like a routine and taking them on different trips so they can see that it's like ways to actually get out besides to go to high school and play football. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. Now, I've seen you're pretty competitive on that thing. I've seen you on social media mm -hmm. where you, you're pretty competitive. Yeah. Do you have your kids wired that way too? You got to. Sean got us wired like he wired, so I got to I gotta have the same mentality when I teach them. Because keep it simple, don't complex them with a lot of things, don't throw too much at them. So I feel like the energy I bring on the field, I'm like, okay, coach let me be who I am, you got to be who you are, you know, while you're doing what you love. So I think that's what drives them the most, like just being who they are. Okay, are you Coach CD? Are you Coach CJ? Are you they call coach me Coach CD. Do they? Yeah. That's what you told them? Nah, they do what they do on their own. <laughs> I got all my car. So my Carver kids started it. Uh, George, was George Washington Carver? They yeah. green and orange. Uh -huh. My Carver kids started it. And ever since then, everybody just flowed in with it. All right, Coach Seedy. So now, Coach Seedy, are you the best slot corner in the NFL? I know the answer to this. Yeah. Because I know what. <laughs> but what's it? <the, laughs> I know the answer to this. But why do you say that? Um, development, playing with the with like. A group that's been together so long, so like Marshawn, Dub, Crawley, P. Rob, uh, Ad Malcolm is just somebody who's been here. You know, you fit into something that's that that you feel like you you playing your role. I'm the best at my role, so I feel like when I go on the field, I gotta do my job, and then everything else just flows. So like, I feel like when I do my job, nobody can't stop me, and then nobody can't stop us as a whole. So it's just like it makes it hell for everybody. You know, how did you get so good at your job? How did how did you develop those skills? Listening, I gotta listen. I gotta listen a little bit more. I gotta do a little bit more listening. I gotta do a lot more listening. But you already say you're the best at it now. Yeah. So, so where, where did that come from? Because we know you were pretty good at you know coming out of college mm -hmm. even, and even as a rookie. Yeah. But now especially, it seems like you've made the jump year after year after year. So what do you continue to do to make that jump? Film and understanding the knowledge of the game, because the game slow down once you study it. So I just understand it like, if I put myself in a, a position where I can't get beat, as in knowing what's happened before it happened, knowing the formation, seeing, trusting what you see. That's what coach always say, trust what you see. So when you trust it and you're confident in what you know and what you see, you go after it. And I think you gotta play with that chip on your shoulder. And I think that's what gave me and the guys in the DB room a chip on our shoulder because we, we trust what we see. Now folks, if you saw, um, as soon as Jack Rabbit got out the door, uh, first thing CD said was, we good, I'll play the corner. Can you play outside corner? Outside, safety, linebacker, DN, running back, <laughs> receiver, punt return, broadcaster, Twitter fingers, and Instagram sensation. I didn't see, I, I didn't hear you say a word about kicking though. Nah, nah, I'm a shanky. No, you're gonna shank. <laughs> I'm a shanky. <laughs> okay, now, you are one of the most beloved teammates I've ever seen uh, in this locker room, probably in the NFL. Mm -hmm. And yet, you know, the people who play against you hate you. What's up, man? What, what are you doing? All right, so I got this motto. It's like all for one. And we all for one is like you understand your brother personally, you know? So, like, for example, if we was riding a car, I'm not going to send a 12-hour car ride and not talk to you. I'm gonna ask you like what you like to do, what's going on, why I invite you to something that's not that's laid on down the road. So I figure out my teammates before they try to figure me out. So then they can figure me out as we hanging out, chilling. That's why me and Quan so tight. Me and AK pretty tight. It just don't look like everybody, is, but like the bonds that you build on both sides. To me and T Stead tight. Uh Cam, that's like my dog. That's like big bro when I first got in here. Uh it's just understanding people. 
it took me some time to understand the NFL, but I, I don't got time to understand the NFL. I got time to understand my teammates. I think that's why I'm here still. Yeah, but the teams on the guys on the other team, they they hate you, man. What's what's I ain't fighting with them. That's probably why. <laughs> I'm fighting I'm going I'm practicing with guys that that those are big brothers like J Bo. Oh. Deuces. Uh, you know, that's my boy. Like, I gotta go to war with him every day. So I'd rather be aggravated to the people that's not going to war with us every day. And not understand our pain and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Because in reality, I'm just doing my job. Yeah, that was quarterback Jameis Winston that we were shouting out. Now, one more thing on along those lines. Do you, like, do study on people? Do you do research yeah. when you're trash talking? Mental, you? mental study. So this is what you do. So, like, I find out what they hate. Like, in the game, you just watch it. Like, I throw in the game, and I just see what receiver are doing the most complaining. Or if you just, if you like to talk before the game gets started, I let you talk yourself into a hole, you know? I don't like, once you talk yourself into a hole with me, it's over with. I just close the lid. Folks, that's it right there. That I don't know how we can close up any better than that. We'll be back in a moment on the CST New Orleans Saints training camp report. Yes, sir.